What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warring Aviators and the Superman hat bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies where we go over different types of techniques and combos that I either take from real life or from, you know, cartoons and video games and we bring them to you and teach you how to do it, give you some homework for your weekend. Now, here's what we are doing today. We're doing one of the most important kicks and I'm sorry it took me so long to do this. It kind of just slipped my mind, honestly, uh, but we are doing the roundhouse kick. So. Let's get started. Just like with the majority of kicks that we do here on this channel, I like to have it a slightly lower angle so you can see my legs. Hopefully this angle works. You should be able to see all the important parts of this kick with this uh, angle. So we're going to get started. Let's get to it. For this roundhouse kick, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Your right leg, left leg, front leg, back leg, bunch of stuff like that. But we're going to do what I think is the simplest way to learn it for those of you that are just starting on this kick. Uh, we're going to do it with our back leg and it's going to be our dominant leg. So whatever your favorite leg is, I can do it you know, with both legs at this point. I've been training for a very long time. But for you guys, whatever leg is your dominant leg, you feel the best at kicking with, uh, put that leg behind you. For right now, I'm going to be using my right leg. So there's a couple different stages you're going to want to do when you're learning this kick. Stage one is lifting your knee up as high as you can get it. This is going to be um, basically where your knee is pointing is where your target is. It could go to the ribs, it could go to the head, doesn't really matter. Wherever your knee is pointing is where your target will be. Now, the second stage you're going to want to do is to turn it, your kick over. You're going to want to act like your leg is a table and you want it to have it so flat that you can set a drink on it and it won't tip over. So once you get stage one, stage two going, you're going to want to A, point your toes or pull your heel or pull your toes all the way up. If you point your toes, you're going to kick with your shin. And that's, you know, a lot of very powerful kicks to the ribs. That's where that goes. And you can break people's ribs and rib cages like that. Or you're going to want to, if you're wanting to pierce something, if you're going to want to, uh, like, puncture one of the top ribs or maybe break through boards, you're going to want to pull your toes back towards your head so you're hitting with the ball of your foot. Doesn't matter which one you choose. Right now I'm going to do with the pointed foot because I like doing those powerful rib kicks. But if you want to you know, switch it up, it's all up to you. So you're going to do part one, part two, keeping that those toes the way you want it. And then you're going to, whoop, let me turn towards the camera so you can see a little better. Extend your leg out, pull it and pull it back. Make sure always retrieve your kick once you kick because if you leave your kick out there a couple different things can happen you can a fall into your into your uh stance and get hit on the way to falling that's actually how i ripped my nose from my face during a fight once so you don't want that to happen that's a no-go and another thing that can happen is by not retrieving your kick back your kick can be caught and then you're in big trouble. You don't want your foot to ever be caught by someone else. So whenever you kick, one, two, three, four, you wanna extend and pull it back as fast as you can so you can't get caught in those bad situations. It also allows for you to throw multiple different types of kicks at different heights. I can throw one to the leg, one to the head, one down here, one up there, it doesn't matter. I can throw kicks for days because I'm pulling my foot back. You have to get that, um, in your memory. Now the last thing that you're going to want to remember is keeping your head up. Just because you're kicking doesn't mean they're not going to attack you. You may hit them dead into the ribs, but if they're coming at you, you still have to be able to block your head. So you want to keep your hands up, guarding your face and guarding your important, you know, part the important parts of your body so that you are always safe and always protected no matter what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I love making these videos and I love when you guys like and give me your uh, constructive criticism down in the comments, whether it's good or bad. Either one helps me get better. And as I'm sure you guys know, I love getting better. I always want to get better. That is kind of my thing. That's why I love Superman. Superman is the best. And that is my goal to end up being the best. So with all that said, don't forget to like and subscribe on this channel. Till then, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.